Now, Ceres, Abram's wife, bare him no children, and she had a an handmaid, an Egyptian, whose name was Hagar. And Sari said unto Abram, Behold now, the Lord hath restrained me from bearing. I pray thee, go into, go into my maid. It may be that I may obtain children by her. And Abram hearkened to the voice of Sari. Sari. And Sari, Sarah, Sarah, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her maid the Egyptian, after Abram had dwelt there ten years in the land of Canaan and gave her to her husband Abram to be his wife. And he went in unto Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. And Sarah said unto Abram, My wrong be upon thee. I have given my maid into thy bosom. And when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. The Lord's judge between me and thee. But Abram said unto Sarai, Behold, thy maid is thy hand. Do to her as it pleaseth thee. And when Sarai dealt hardly with her, she fled from her face. And the angel of the Lord found her by a fountain of water in the wilderness, by the fountain in the way of Shur. And he said to Hagar, Sarai's maid, whence camest thou? And whither wilt thou go? And she said, I flee from the face of my mistress Sarai. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Return to thy mistress, and submit thyself under her hands. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, I will multiply thy seed exceedingly, that it shall not be numbered for a multitude. And the angel of the Lord said unto her, Behold, thou art with child, and shalt bear a son and shall call his name Ismael, because the Lord hath heard thy affliction. And he will be a wild man, his hand will be against every man, and every man's hand against him, and he shall dwell in the presence of all his brethren. And she came, and she called the name of the Lord that spake unto her, Thou God seest me, for she said, I Have I also here looked after him that seeth me? Wherefore the well was called Beer, Laha I Roi. Behold, it is between Kadash and Bered. And Hagar bare Abram a son. And Abram called his son's name, which Hagar bare, Ishmael. And Abram was fourscore and six years old when Hagar bare Ishmael to Abram.